we want to simplify the given expression. We have the absolute value of 3 times 5 squared minus 6 times 8 squared. If we look at the order of operations, notice how the first step is to simplify within the innermost parentheses or grouping symbols. When we have an expression that has an absolute value, we do treat the absolute value as if they were grouping symbols. So the first step here is to simplify inside the absolute value. Notice inside the absolute value we have multiplication, we have exponents, and we also have a difference. So looking at step two in the order of operations, we simplify all expressions with exponents next, which means we begin by simplifying five squared and eight squared. So this is equal to the absolute value of three times five squared equals five times five, which equals 25, minus six times eight squared equals eight times eight, which equals 64. Now inside the absolute value, we have multiplication and subtraction. Referring back to the order of operations, notice step three, we multiply and divide from left to right before step four, when we add and subtract from left to right. So our next step is to find this product and this product. So we have the absolute value of three times 25 equals 75 minus six times 64 equals 384. Now we need to find this difference, but if it's helpful, we can write this as a sum. Subtracting 384 is the same as adding negative 384. So let's go ahead and write this as the absolute value of 75 plus negative 384. And now to find this difference, the first step is to recognize that the sum is going to be negative because negative 384 is going to outweigh the positive 75. So we know the sum is going to be negative. To determine the negative number of this sum, we take the absolute value of both numbers and subtract the smaller value from the larger value. So the absolute value of negative 384 would be positive 384. The absolute value of 75 is positive 75. This is supposed to be a four. And now we subtract. Looking at the ones, we need to perform an exchange. So we change the eight and the tens to a seven and add 10 to four, which gives us 14 ones. 14 minus five is nine. Seven minus seven is zero. And we still have three hundreds. So because this difference is 309, this sum is negative 309. Again, we know it's negative because the negative 384 is outweighing the positive 75. And our last step is to find the absolute value of negative 309, which equals a distance. Negative 309 is from zero, which gives us positive 309. Remember, distance is always positive, and therefore an absolute value is always positive. I hope you found this helpful.